What's going on guys? In today's video, we are talking about these yellow markings that you see here. So basically, we have looked back on historical data for the last, what is it, three years? Uh, since 2017. And as you can see, there has been a switch in trends every single year. So as you, as you know, in 2017, we hit the previous all-time highs. Um, and then in mid-December, after mid-December, we saw that top and then we switched uh, trends. And that led to the trend for the, for the entire next year. And in mid-December, again, we switched trends. Then in 2019, as you can see here, even though this was not the bottom for 2019, um, as you can see, we were grinding down slowly. And then here, mid-December, again, after mid-December, we switched to back to the upside. Um, you know, until, of course, the pandemic this year that changed our direction. But we jumped back on track from where we started. And now, mid-December, again, we have hit a new all-time high, just like we did after mid-December in 2017. Now, is it possible that this is the top for this rally or is it just a coincidence? That's what we're going to cover in today's video. So stay tuned, guys. Guys, make sure that you like and subscribe, guys. Hit that notification bell and drop a comment. Let us know if you've been in this bull run. And if you guys are interested in using the exchange that we use, uh, we use Bybit. And in the description, we have a link where you guys can sign up through that. And uh, you'll be able to get some rewards on your initial deposit up to around $100 or more. So without further ado, let's jump right in, guys. So this chart right here, it goes back, you know, four years, basically since 2016, what, what has happened every December, right? So we notice something that happens every December. So we start off all the way back here. We have to go into the daily. All right. So let's look at the famous December 2017, right? This is when we had the crazy bull run. Um, let's look at where that started. Um, well, not where that started, but let's, let's look at mid-December. So December 15th. And let's highlight this until the end of December. So till about here. Right. So that's that was what happened on the second half of December. It basically it printed a top and then there was a reversal from the direction it was going at that point. So you can see here. Um, around December 15th or so, December 17th, 16th, um, is when we had the all time high at that time. And then it started changing directions, right? Um, and the rest is history as you guys know, then let's take a look at December again, but of 2018. So if we look at December, 2018, around the same time period, Let's look for the 15th of December to the end of December this is around here. So you see here, we kind of printed a bottom. We bottomed out here and reversed in the opposite direction, right? So we had that bottom of around 3000 and started taking off. Now, obviously it's not a huge move, but there was a reversal and we, we moved up, right? we printed a bottom for that basically for the year. So we printed a bottom for the year, the pre the, for the rest of the uh, next year. And then in December, 2017, we printed the top for the next year. Now let's look at um, here last year. So this is a year back December one year ago. Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Look for December 15th. So there was a here. There was a lot of consolidation, but you see that again for the range that it was currently at, it printed the bottom of that, which led to the move that happened this year. And now obviously there was a black swan event where we had the big drop off because of the, the pandemic. But I believe if we did not have that black swan event, we could have got to the all time highs 
quicker than we did, right? Um, because we we're on the way up. And then the pandemic basically threw us off track, but we jumped right back on that track. So you see that we printed a bottom for the current range that we were at. You see how we were dropping off basically all of 2019. Boom, that was a bottom. We started, we started taking off. And now if you take out this event, that was the bottom, right? So now we come up to 2020, right? So that's currently where we're at. You see, we had the, the big move up. What history tells us is that after mid-December, the price changes direction. Okay, so it print it usually prints either a top or a bottom from where it's currently at, right? History has told us the last three three or four years that whatever direction we're going in, um, that was a top for that run, and then it's the price starts going in the opposite direction. Now I'm not saying that the bull run is over. I just want to highlight this for you guys. I like to look back in history, see what's happened. And whenever I find something that's repeatedly happened, then, you know, it's something that I, that I like to look into and talk about and bring to your attention just so that you're aware of this. OK, so um, so that's something that we're watching. We're going to see here what happens in the next few days for the for the rest of this week if we uh, start, you know, coming down or if we are able to just continue up and be like, who cares about that, right? Who cares about what's happened the last three or four years and we continue up. So um, that's just something I wanted to point out for you guys. Uh, so you guys, you know, anyone that's, that's invested, you know, long-term or is thinking about taking profits, uh, that's something that you should take into to consideration um, if we, you start seeing movement to the downside, right? So if if we have another big move, I expect I expect volatility probably after Christmas. I expect the market to be volatile after Christmas Day, and we could see either a move up or down at that point. Um, if we go with history, it shows that it points to there being a move down you know, after Christmas, and that could potentially lead us down to that 20,000 range, right? Where we can test that range. Remember we spoke about on Friday's video um, that we're very overextended. There is a bearish divergence. So th there's several signals right now uh, that are signaling a pullback to 20K. Um, there's also history that's signaling a pullback. And we're very, we're very over, overextended at this point, you know, uh, people, it's Christmas, people are going to be taking vacations, people are going to be pulling money out for, for those vacations. Um, some people, some people are not going to be working, stuff like that, you know, plus the new, the new strain of COVID. All that. There's a lot of signals right now pointing to a pullback. So that's why we're, we're, we're talking about all of this together, because we want to make sure that in, in the event that there is a pullback, you guys are prepared. Right. Um, so the pullback num levels that we're looking at, like we already discussed, is uh, these Fibonacci levels and the whole numbers. Right. Um, the main one being 20K. That's the main support that we need to hold, um, you know, for us to bounce back up. If we break 20K and we go back under it, then we could go back to test other levels down here maybe back down to 17k um that's a a possible a possibility because remember on the cme chart we've had several gap ups that have not been filled so we've had this gap up right here and we have this gap up right here so these gap ups are at 17,000, right this gap up right here this is 17,000. look at this so that's those are gaps that might still be filled before we can continue higher to 25 30 K in the next 12 months or so. Um, so that's just levels to keep in mind overall guys. Um, obviously we're still bullish as you guys can see, we're still, this is still a, a, a bull flag, right? Like this right here, we're, we're still, we're still bullish on this. 
um, but we want to we want to make sure you guys have all the information uh, and not just be biased to the upside. So um, either way, we're not taking any shorts. We're not shorting uh, Bitcoin at the moment because, as you guys know, um, we're we're in a bull trend. So you never want to trade against the trend. That's just low probability uh, trades. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, like we said, you know, this, this could all just be a coincidence, uh, but we'd like to present to you, you know, um, th different things that we find and, um, and try to bring it to your attention so you guys can use that information, you know, to, to make uh, better decisions on your investments. So um, remember, none of this is financial advice. We're just showing you uh, different opinions that we've come across and that we've found. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think this is a coincidence? Do you think we've we've put in a top for the next 12 months? Or um, is it, you know, are we just going to run right through? Remember that 2020 is a year unlike any other year. So, you know, um, the fun, the fundamentals have changed in Bitcoin. There's so much so many more uh, people and not only people, but big companies that are putting their money in Bitcoin. So those are, you know, different things that that could just throw this whole, you know, all this historic data out the window. We just wanted to bring this to your attention so you guys could have this in mind as well, you know, and not just be straight bullish like we've been, you know, as of late. But that's pretty much it, guys. I want to wish you guys all a Merry Christmas and I will see you on the next video. As always, peace and love.